And now today we're going to talk a little bit more about filtration of the Nano Lagoon, the simple inexpensive reef tank for newbies. And in a previous video we talked about this Aquatec 515 filter. This is the simple hang on the back filter unit. And we showed you what's inside. And it is a simple sponge type filter like this. And if you look carefully you can see some little granules of activated carbon in there. And those granules of activated carbon serve to remove some dissolved organic pollutants from the water that might ordinarily tint the water yellow and reduce the clarity of the water. So we do think that the activated carbon is a good thing to use periodically. You don't have to um, go crazy on it, but once a month is the recommended uh, change interval for these uh, filter units. I'm going to show you a little trick today to save you some money. Uh, when you take your sponge filter out of your cartridge, of course it's going to be sitting on the top of your tank, and it's been running for a month, and this is going to have some detritus on there, there'll be some bacteria, a little bit of slime, maybe some amphipods. Try to brush those amphipods back into the tank. Now, the manufacturer would like you to just throw this away and get a new one, and they do, in fact, sell uh, replacement units. This is a typical three-pack picked up at Walmart uh, for about six dollars. So they're about two dollars a piece for the replacement units, and uh, you can go that route if you want, but if you're like us, you try to economize at every step, especially if you're running lots of aquariums. If you're just running one, it's no big deal, but what if you're running six or ten or twenty or thirty? Then you look for ways to economize. So I'm going to show you a used filter pad right here. Uh, this is one that was in a tank for a month and we took it out and we rinsed it out carefully with a hose, got all the stuff off it after actually saving the amphipods. The living things went back into the tank. We rinsed out all the bacteria and detritus and sort of cloudy, muddy stuff. And we actually took uh, a box cutter or a pair of scissors, just any kind of scissors, and we made a little opening near the top of the pad very carefully, and we dumped out the carbon granules. These are the spent granules that had already done their job and, and absorbed some organic dyes from the water. So we can't use that again. But what we can do when we're in Walmart is pick up a bottle of this activated carbon uh, particles. It's made by Aquatec, the same company. And by the way, we have no uh, uh, financial ties to these product makers. We just recommend what works for us. And this is a six dollar bottle of, uh, of activated carbon or charcoal. And it lasts for a long time because what you're going to do is just take a, a teaspoon uh, as if you were measuring out some instant coffee and put one teaspoon of this uh, these carbon granules into that opening that you've cut into the filter. Just put it right in there and close it up and now you're ready to put the new filter it's actually an old filter which we're recycling with new carbon into your filter box and that's what you do. So what I'm saying is that these things can be reused indefinitely. Now this one will sit in there for a month and at the end of the month we'll take it out. We'll rinse it real good with a hose, dry it out, empty out the carbon, uh, put in some new carbon and reuse that filter. So one of these bottles of activated carbon which cost six dollars uh, will save you many many more dollars if used with these recycled filter pads. And that's just one little trick. There will be more which we will show you which will help you economize with your Nano Lagoon tank, the simple inexpensive reef tank for newbies.